Many of us anticipated Iron Man 4 as a sequel, but what if it surprises us as a prequel, drawing inspiration from films like Dark Phoenix? Consider Dark Phoenix, released post-2019 and the last featuring the young X-Men cast. Set in 1992, it adapts the iconic Dark Phoenix comic storyline. However, by the film's end, Jean Grey has transformed into a phoenix, creating some chronological ambiguity for its connection to the next film. If that doesn't resonate, shift your focus to Black Widow, narrating Natasha Romanoff's history as an Avenger and former KGB spy. She faces her dark past when a conspiracy involving her old handler surfaces. Now, drawing a parallel, imagine Iron Man 4 unveiling a young Tony inheriting Stark Industries from his father Howard Stark. This storyline predates all prior Iron Man and Marvel movies, offering a glimpse of Tony before his Iron Man days. Now, let's pivot from Iron Man to delve into an intriguing theory. That might be possible for us as the current MCU big banger Loki's solemn ending has turned out to be God Loki, who he who remains at the end of time. But this theory is not about Loki, it's about Mobius becoming a variant of Howard Stark, which give new Tony Stark variant close to the superior Iron Man the potential interplay. Between Mobius and a young Tony Stark could offer fresh perspectives on both characters. But that's that. And if you like this theory, then tell us your thoughts on comment down below now. Let's carry on our thoughts on the current Marvel Cinematic Universe Iron Man prequel, which could explore MCU tie-in comic actually show Tony Stark's last conversation with his father. In the canonical MCU prelude comic Iron Man 2, Public Identity No. 3, by Justin Thoreau, Joe Casey, and Ron Lim, readers are shown the unadulterated final interaction between Tony Stark and his father as opposed to the imperfect memory generated by Stark Industries' barf system as shown in Captain America Civil War. Tony Stark is floating in his pool after coming home from college. His father Howard tells Tony that there is a lot about what he does that he's never told Tony, and that they need to have that conversation when he gets back from a business trip. Howard also says that he hopes Tony doesn't stay as immature as he is forever, only for Tony to claim that he knows what he's doing. Tony Stark's character in the MCU changed Iron Man's public image. Instead of the arrogant jerk from the comics, he became a smart yet somewhat self-centered man-child with a good heart, thanks to Robert Downey Jr.'s exceptional performance. In the MCU, this transformation is explained by Tony's last conversation with his father, shaping his witty, heroic, and caring personality. Although his personal development, especially regarding his father, took years to unfold, the true impact was revealed in Captain America Civil War. Marvel Comics later provided more insight through an official tie-in comic, offering a deeper understanding of Tony's relationship with his father and key information for Iron Man's personal saga in the MCU. This side of view for the prequel could happen, and if it does, Nicholas Holt could effectively portray a young Tony Stark. His exceptional acting skills, showcased in The Great web series, demonstrate the charisma and depth needed for an Iron Man character. Watching the great is a good way to witness Holt's talent firsthand and imagine how well he could bring the younger Tony Stark to life on screen. Nicholas Holt has become a Hollywood star, starting as a child actor in the comedy About a Boy alongside Hugh Grant. He gained fame as the mutant scientist Beast in the X-Men movies and later starred in various films like Warm Bodies, Jack the Giant Slayer, and Tolkien. Holt also impression in the TV series The Great, earning an Emmy nomination for his role as Peter III. Known for both lead and supporting roles, his diverse filmography includes standout performances in movies like The Menu, The Favorite, and Mad Max Fury Road. Now let's talk about one thing that no one is talking about Iron in Loki Season 2. There's an interesting connection between Iron Man and a character named Victor Timely, who has ties to Kang. Victor Timely, debuting in the post credit scene of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, is a 19th century showman with a link to Tony Stark. While exploring the racial bias of America's past, Timely receives a Time Variance Authority guidebook as a child, shaping his future. The steampunk temporal loom he later presents echoes Tony Stark's Stark Expo in Iron Man 2. This creates a unique link between Iron Man and this version of Kang the Conqueror, although their stories unfold under different circumstances. 
Victor Timely, featured in the Loki series, originates from Marvel Comics' 1980s and 1990s era. He played a significant role in the Kang Dynasty comic event, influencing the next Avengers movie of the same name. Similar to the Starks, the comic version of Victor Timely is a major player in the 20th century American industry and created Chronopolis, a city beyond time and space, serving as Kang's hub for conquered timelines. However, in Loki Season 2, we encounter a unique twist. This Kang variant hails not from the 31st century, but is instead born and raised in the 1800s. When Victor receives the TVA guidebook, it seems he was already skilled in turn-of-the-century metallurgy, hinting at his intelligence. The book serves to awaken his intellectual potential. While not an overwhelmingly successful inventor, he has a sizable lab in Wisconsin and a place in Chicago. Victor, like Tony Stark, aims to do more with his inventions than just providing free electricity. Interestingly, Stark also considered this with his arc reactor technology, though its outcome remains unclear. Victor's aversion to partners might stem from his past, possibly reflecting a reluctance to trust others due to past swindles or worse encounters. His cautious approach might be a result of a defensive response to those who tried to deceive him in the past. In the world of comics, many billionaires became superheroes unlike real life. Tony Stark from Iron Man stands out as a genius who privatized world peace. Unlike Victor Timely, Tony inherited his company but didn't realize its harm until later. Tony's Stark Expo aimed to help inventors, even showcasing his rival Justin Hammer. Victor, on the other hand, faced unjust laws and had to scheme for funding. Victor's aversion to partners raises concerns, but it also shows his isolation. Unlike Tony, who had friends like Pepper Potts and James Rhodes, Victor keeps people at a distance. Mobius and Loki hope to give him connections by saving the TVA. Although Robert Downey Jr. seems done with the MCU, Tony's return could impact his endgame sacrifice. Tony's ability to relate to Kang could be crucial. Their confrontation might reveal how close heroes and villains are. Tony's resources let him change the world, while Victor, facing injustice in 19th century America, seeks order. Their clash could create dramatic conflict, turning Victor into a good Kang. Loki and Mobius now face the task of showing Victor the value of every life in the multiverse. If this scenario happened in Iron Man 4, it would be a fascinating storyline. The clash between Tony Stark and Victor Timely, exploring their different perspectives, could bring intense drama. It might also lead to Victor turning into a good Kang in the fight with the Avengers. The responsibility of convincing him to protect lives across the multiverse falls on Loki and Mobius, using their experiences to show Victor the importance of every life. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.